Wow. Why do you why do you why do you have that look on your face already? I'm just thinking to myself, why did we spend $180 last night on this hotel? That was a, it was a pretty bad hotel. Like, this hotel. is one of the worst hotels I've ever stayed at. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Why is every hotel $400 in Florida? Yeah, can, we, can we make a protest right now to that, get the Florida hotel prices down? Because how are we supposed to make a living out here with these damn rent so high, you know? Man, I'm just pissed. It's just been one of those days. No, I'm just kidding. We're going fishing. Whew. Good morning, Flare Fishing fam. See, Flare Fishing fam. Apparently we're fishing today, so I can call them the player fishing fan. When I'm not fishing, apparently I can't call you that. But we are in Florida. This is uh well I got in I got in yesterday and Peric and I fished on on a boat and caught some bass, but today we're gonna be doing a little pond hopping challenge. We're gonna grab some breakfast first. Pretty early in the morning. We got up at like 6.30. It's maybe like seven by now. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. Lawson, you guys know Lawson Lindsay, he lives down here and he actually gave us some spots to fish. So we're gonna try the spots out and see if we can catch some bacons. We got our coffee, we got our food, we were ready to go do some fishing. It's gonna be a good day, you guys stay tuned. Eventually. Keep learning his natural habitat. Well folks, we are, uh, we're at the pond. Our boy Lawson hooked us up with this spot. It's a pretty decent looking pond, honestly. This is, uh, I'm feeling really good about it actually. These are my, this is honestly one of my favorite ways to fish. Small bodies of water, with a boat. I mean, I like bank fishing, but I do like fishing from a boat. Um, in Florida with Florida strain bass. You see them? I think they're busting right there on that point. Fish busting? Yeah, on that point. Yeah, they are. They're busting on that point. Anyways, we're gonna get the boat. We're gonna try to get the boat in the water. We don't. There's not really a ramp here. It's just kind of a. It's just kind of a hill. But that's why. That's why you bring Keebler, cause uh, he sees a body of water. He's putting a boat in. That's all that matters. All, all we, that matters is if this trailer gets into the water, this boat's getting in the water. So it's going. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we're good as gold, baby. All right, keeping it easy. Starting off with the chatter bait because I already had it tied on. Let's see if this place is as dialed as Lawson says. He should even say it was dialed. He just said you can fish here if you want. Did he say there's this, like... <laughs> he didn't say anything about it. He said, here's a, here's a pond you can maybe put your boat in. He's probably just trolling us. There's probably, like, nothing in here other than, like, tilapia. I just saw that. Oh, it was golden. I need to change colors to chatter bait. You have a golden one type? Uh, like yeah. something I can always keep the same trailer. But something that's like uh, oh, golden, uh, golden or yellow. Golden, uh, that's what it looked like. Alright, I'm changing up. We just saw, look like a little golden shiner type fish uh, bust. Kind of jumped right in front of the boat. It looked a lot like this thing right here. So we'll tie this little spinner bait on and see see if I can get a fish to go here. Peric's throwing, what are you throwing, a little walking bait? Yeah, he's, start, he's starting off with some top water. Right What's our depth? Four? That's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. Peric and I don't really know what to expect on this pond. Like I said, Lawson just said, hey, you might be able to put your boat in this pond. Didn't say anything about it. Didn't say what kind of fish are in it. Didn't say what bait to use. Didn't even say it was legal. He just said you can, which uh, I interpret that as go ahead and do it. There you go. Hey, hey what, up? Bass in here. what up, little guy? <laughs> yeah, that's, oh. it looks about right for what it's in my spinner bait. So that's dope. Thanks, Lawson, for the juice. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, what just happened? I thought that was a tank. That thing was the highest I've ever seen a bathroom. <laughs> I lifted it up and it just Oh my gosh. I think that might have been that might have been the same fish. I don't know. That thing smoked it though right at the boat. He definitely wasn't even hooked at all. Like he just he grabbed on the blades and I just sent him into outer freaking space. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well that is good. Yeah, we're we uh we dropped the poles here. We're sitting um on a wind blown wind blown bank right here. This is the, the pad section is where I pair just caught a big one. It's the first pads we pulled up to, first cast he caught one swimming a crack and craw. So I dropped the poles here and I'm just casting parallel along this this pad line basically. And I got I got pat, popped once and then just caught that fish. I guess you could technically say I caught it, kinda. Kinda threw him in there a little bit. But uh I think the pads could be the juice. Now you're just swimming that weightless. Yeah, yeah you're gonna get smoked. Peric's, he's, look yeah, look at that. That's just the crack and craw. It looks just like, like a ribbit toad, um, but it's a lot more compact, a lot smaller, a lot easier for the fish to eat. Uh, plus, you can kind of let it sink, and it's actually going to have some action on the way down. It's not going to just sit there like a blob of plastic. But that's Peric's technique. I'm throwing the big spinner baits. I want to catch a absolute mondo. Something like this looks like a big-ass golden shiner. 
and uh we'll see i don't know that was it's a good sign that's two fish in pads and uh parrot caught like i said he got a good one mine wasn't that big but still a decent fish we're gonna keep on cranking around here and see if one of us can hook up with a giant Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro. <laughs> I thought that was a tank. The way he hit, I thought that was an absolute monster. <sighs> yeah, I thought you were going to get wrapped up in there. I thought for sure I was going to lose him too. I would have been like, that was an eight pounder, but it wasn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. That guy crushed it. Freaking spinnerbait fish. Oh, he's all mangled up. I don't think that's for me. He's been, he's been caught. That's my second fish. Got him on the spinnerbait again. He absolutely annihilated that thing right at the boat that's two fish right at the boat the first one i set in outer space the second one flung up in the air but i actually hooked that one that's a good sign it, out of the pads right we're fishing this little this pad edge right here this wind's still blowing in it and we're just casting parallel like this keeping the rod tip kind of low and just i'm slowly winding it Perk's still throwing that top water a little craw and uh what am i using this is a this is an lfg rod 7.2 medium heavy shout out to my boy rackley I think this is probably 17 pound line and uh we're just kind of cruising around looking for looking for a big mama i've got a good feeling she's in here somewhere i've got a feeling we might we might catch a big one but we might have to do some we have to slow it down do some flipping and pitching maybe throw a stick bait in there but for now since it's kind of early morning and it's windy we're going to stick with the moving baits and then uh maybe make a second pass with some slower presentation maybe like a bigger bigger jig or a bandito bug or a long worm or something like that to try to sauce up big mama I got him though. Hit it right off that pad. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. He's right on that little that point out there. Just a squeaker. There's no giants, but there's I mean they're fishing here for sure. I'm sure Big Mama's somewhere. She's hiding right now. Another fish. See, buddy. On the spinner bait. Now I need to retie for sure. Don't want to break off all Sally. You got a nick in your line. You better retie. Well, right now, Perrick and I are fishing this canal. What are you, what are you throwing now? You're ripping the Bama rig. I'm getting the rig out. Okay, all right. Alabama rig and the uh, Florida Canal. I'm throwing a little stick bait. Looking just for some, some fish. We feel like they might bed in this stuff, but they might be spawned out. I don't know. Perry's going to rip the A-rig down the middle. and. Uh, I'm going to take two casts with this. And I'm going gonna, gonna to keep dangling on the wacky rig here. See if we can get bit. There's a fish. Oh. Yep. Okay. Nope. I got one, though. Come here, buddy. Yep. This is where I become the canal. This is where the tanks live, Perry. Biggins only, son. We found the flare fish. This is the flare fish canal. The uh, main lake definitely had bigger fish. Definitely had bigger fish. This is uh, this is Dinkville. Oh, God. There you go. Big. Really? Big. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's giant. That's giant. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's huge. That's freaking huge. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Right, coming. Help me, dude. This is big. It's the biggest Ford bass I've ever caught. Hang on, watch out. It's coming up. It's coming up here. Oh, shit. It's in the weeds. It's in the weeds. Grab him. Yes! Yes! Oh, my God. That's massive, dude. Look at that trailer. Oh, yeah. Well, Parrot just caught a, a giant fish. I'm not going to show you the fish. You'll have to go to his channel and go check it out, but, uh, yeah, that was intense. We went from catching six inches to six pounders. Yeah, I'm glad we decided to come and fish these pads up here. <laughs> really glad we decided to do that. So there could be there could be more. In the yeah, just in the middle of this canal. I mean, we're we're halfway down this thing. I mean, I don't know, a few hundred yards all the way back, and there was just one giant sitting on a lily pad patch. There's not much cover in here, but there's a few patches of lily pads, and that fish actually it rolled on his chatterbait. And then he threw back in there and slowed it down and then cranked it. All right, well, I'm convinced uh, after Perrick just caught that tank, I have to go to it. Me and the chatterbait, we're best friends. I was uh, throwing the spinbait for a while and I caught some fish, but 
after seeing that thing, I have a really hard time not picking this thing up. So we're going to give it a try here. Just throwing, basically it just looks like a bluegill. It's a dark color. Looks like a bass or whatever swimming in here. I mean, there's probably golden shiners, maybe tilapia or whatever in here. But I mean, bluegill, anything dark color like this in Florida, black and blue or green pumpkin. It seems like dark colors work well in Florida. Or if you're trying to imitate like a golden, old golden shiner or shad or something like that. But this is what Parrot caught his big one on. So I'm going to tie it on and see if I can make something happen. That's one, that's a big one, that's a big one. Yep, that's a big one. Yep, oh God, that's a big one. Oh God, I got him. You might try to, try to grab him, try to grab him, try to grab him. Grab that thing, grab that thing. Woo, yes! Woo! Dude, he smoked it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh yes, yes. Finally, dude, this guy is beat up right now. That is incredible. He's like missing a whole, whole fin right here, his dorsal. Look at that. That's probably, he's probably in the fours. Finally, a decent sized fish I got in this little canal. We're almost to the back of this and we've been fishing for like an hour. Finally caught a decent one. I think, dude, that head is huge. Dude, the head is massive. That literally should be easily a five pounder, no problem. But then it's just like the body's just not all there, but hell yeah, good Florida fish. All right, see you later, buddy. Yes! Woo! Finally got a good one. Oh, that was awesome. Feels so good. We were catching dinks. I was catching dinks. Parrot caught a big one on Chatterbait. I switched, caught a couple more dinks, and then caught that guy. Not nearly the size of Parrot's, but the head on it. I thought it was I thought it was at least a five or six. We're in the back of this canal right now. I mean, this is the end of it. But you can like you guys can't even see the end of it over there. I mean it just freaking goes and goes and goes. We've just been fishing this little canal and uh we finally got up to where there's some pads, stuff like this, and we're actually in like six feet, seven feet of water. So there's plenty of plenty of depth here for these fish. And so they've got kind of a channel here. They've got all the vegetation that they would ever need. There's plenty of bait fish back here. And they're kind of just, they're all isolated to where you can, you know, I guess they're kind of easy to catch because there's not a whole lot of water for them to be in that, you know, your bait doesn't come by. But I caught that on a little green pumpkin chatter bait with a little swimmer on the back. And uh, that's good. That feels really good. We're almost, so we're almost done with this canal. And then we're gonna kind of start working our way back out, maybe do a little bit of flipping and whatnot, but that is good. That is a very, very good sign. Oh, get him! Dude, he is running. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, that thing ran right at Get him, baby! Yes! Dude, that's like a three, four pounder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the video is really up to be amazing. That one cracked the cracking craw just on the surface, swimming it like a top water. Oh, Junior, what do you think? Is that a good day? What the heck was all that? I've been sand in my hair. Um, yes. We need to get sunscreen. That's our biggest concern with today. Um, we are frying out here with no sunscreen, but this was definitely the best day I've had in Florida this year so far. We caught, what was that, probably three or four over three and a half pounds. Pretty good. Yeah, we are headed back now. We're headed back to the ramp. Like Parrick said, we need sunscreen. I got a little toasted yesterday, getting really toasted right now. Um, it's about noon. We spent, what, only three, four hours out here? Yeah, we spent pretty, pretty, out here. pretty, pretty stinking good. He caught a six. I caught a, almost a four. He caught maybe like a three and a half. A ton of, ton of, ton of squeakers. But what was crazy is the big fish came out of this canal, this tiny little canal that we're, that we're driving through now. We fished the entire big pond and didn't have any giant fish. He, what was that, like a three you caught yeah. it was a bigger one? Yeah, so Perry caught like a three out of the big pond, but then it was just squeaker, squeaker, squeaker. And we fished a little bit up into this canal and didn't catch a whole lot. And we almost turned around and I said, let's just fish these lily pads. That's where he caught a six. We kept going, I caught a four, he caught a three. It's just, it was a good day. It was a good day on the chatterbait. And uh, what else did you throw? You were you were throwing the crack and craw, weightless, right? Yeah, I caught that, a couple on the crack and craw. Yeah, that was, other nice ones came yeah, out. yeah. So Perrick was actually throwing the crack and craw weightless bringing in like a top toad, which I actually personally haven't done with that bait. And it looked really, really, really good. And, uh, and he actually ended up catching some fish. So if you guys are looking for an idea for, you know, to cover water really quickly on the top of the surface, um, without using like a buzz bait or even a frog, just throw that crack and craw. It looked really good. It's subtle. You can catch a lot of fish with it. And it, yeah, it's, it is really weedless and easy to cast and everything else. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of fishing Florida lily pads slash canal slash 
whatever we needed to fish to catch some fish. Shout out to Lawson for hooking us up with this spot. He dropped a pin on it last night. We showed up, we caught some fish. It was a good time. If you guys are enjoying the Florida series, let me know in the comment section down below. I've got a couple more days here. I think we're gonna head south though. We might even do some saltwater fishing um, while I'm down here. But right now it is still really cold in Dallas and in Nebraska, so I'm not going back anytime soon. But like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Really do appreciate the view. Peace.